we're getting into mid-spring now. Great time, you know, temperatures are rising, risk of frost is slowly ebbing away. Now's the time to get your curcubit family sown. Curcubits, what are those? Well, curcubits, cucumbers, squashes, courgettes, pumpkins, all the seed resemble that. The thing you nibble on if you're ever in a healthy snack. It's like your pumpkin seeds. Flat, oval seeds. I'm going to sow some courgettes today. Your seed's going to resemble something like that. You'd be sowing them into nine centimetre pots like this perhaps. Get a couple in there, thin out to one seedling upon germination. Now you can kind of get seedling like this, seeds that are quite big and fat like this, just to give them a quick start by soaking them overnight in water. That seed then imbibes water, gets it primed for germination into the soil upon nice warm temperatures like we're getting now in mid-spring. Really, you know, dead, dead easy seeds to, to sow. So two per part, as I say, thin out to one. But, you know, we're sat in a greenhouse here, good quality seed, very reliable. I'm just going to pop one in, really, and, and you know, it'll be fine. We've, we've, we've got the space, we've got the time. But as I say, if you're limited for space, get a couple in, you get three in, but always ensure that you're going to pick out to the healthiest seedling. And it's always good if you're going to sow maybe three. If you don't have access to, to glass or windowsills and you can only go to a balcony, then, you know, you may get frost, you may get slug damage. So always kind of belt and brace it and sow three. Couldn't be easier. All you've got to do really, I mean, it's, even that's not essential, is kind of find the bottom and find the top. The bottom of the seed is flattened. The top of the seed is more pointed. Push the flattened part of the seed into the soil. Just pop it in. Push him down gently to the depth of the maybe a couple of centimetres. Slowly, gently just pat him down. Again, give it a good water. Let that seed just take up loads and loads of water. He'll burst and up he'll come. Couldn't be easier. As I said, with, with good temperatures, Good seed, good environment, within a couple of weeks, two or three weeks you'll have young plants looking like this. Nice healthy members of the curcubit family. Again, you've really got to start looking now for getting pot bound. These are all just over now, they must be moved out, they're starting to get root bound. Get them out into under glass perhaps or pot them onto a bigger pot if they're at this stage. Don't get them out into unprotected ground until the risk of any frost has, uh, has, has gone away, which is what we say around here, the start of June's the time that these can go into open ground with some kind of uh, reliability. If they are to go in open ground now, get a cloche over them, lantern cloche, or some kind of nighttime protection, because again, these are very, very susceptible to frost. If they get a whiff of nighttime, or even really cold nights, not even so much as frost, they never really do. Another thing to do is look out for slug damage as well. Um, keep them away until the, the, the stems start to thicken and get really nice and hairy, and they don't tend to bother then. But as I say, with plants like this, and it's still only April here, probably move them onto the next size of pot. Um, so we've got good, healthy plants, gives a good start, and we'll be getting early crops probably by uh, August time.